Hello, welcome to Renders Text 2 quick review video. In Renders Text 2, we added a pass P modifier on pass group and instance the pass as a new feature. So if you see this setup, I have a camera 001 pass group, and in there I have a two P modifiers. Before Renders Text 2, this was not possible because pass group was just for visual grouping of passes. It couldn't have any P modifier. So now you can add a P modifier on pass group and that modifier will be used by all nested pass under the pass group. This ivory pass will use this two P modifier and its own material of a P modifier. Because it is using the camera P modifier from pass group, it doesn't show base camera P modifier here because base camera wouldn't be used for ivory pass. I'm using two P modifier for all passes and each pass has own material P modifier to override color. Okay, let's preview ivory pass. It looks like that. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have background because I will use this render to comp on top of other images, but I want to see what does it look like the background HDRI. So I made a preview pass. I added object params P modifier in this pass. So if you see render, it shows the V ray light. So what's happening here is in this camera 001 pass group has object params P modifier, but this local P modifier on passes is overriding the P modifier on pass groups. Remember, render text execution order is always top to bottom and top hierarchy to lower hierarchy. So whatever at the bottom of hierarchy and the P modifier at the last will be the P modifier that will be used. So in this way, you can share this object params P modifier with all other passes, but this pass can have own P modifier. Let's collapse the uh, tree. There is a duplicate button holding shift and duplicate. So as you see, it duplicate pass group with all the passes, but pass name is in bold. That means these two passes are instanced. In the duplicate pass, I change the camera to camera 02. So now these two pass will have exact same setup except camera. And if I come here and say, I don't want to have a orange color, I want to have a green color. So I will send the green color here and change the name to green. And then if you see here, the P modifier name already changed it and it also has green. So in this way, wherever you do in one pass will be applied to instance pass. You can just manage one set of passes here and then you propagate to all the camera. You can also add a new P modifier. Then it will show up in instance pass 2 or you can delete a P modifier too. Then all those also propagate to instance P modifier. So, so as you see, you can have a same set of passes for like a 10 camera. Then if you have a four passes per pass group, and if you have a 10 pass group, you can manage 40 passes. You actually manage only four passes because all nine other pass group will just get the same pass setups. So that's it. I hope you find it useful and enjoy the stack too. Thank you.